we're going to do the alligator skull. We're going to start from the nose and move our weight back. Then we'll do the underside, and then we will do the back of the head. Okay. So starting, um, you can see the nostrils here. That's called the nares. And the bone surrounding them is the premaxilla. And then this is the maxilla. In between them is the nasal bone. And then there are three bones across on either side. The one on the uh, medial end is the prefrontal. And then the lacrimal, which kind of looks like a teardrop, and it holds the teardrop tear duct. That's the lacrimal bone. Um, and then on the side here we have the jugal. Okay, jugal here. Um, <clears throat> this big hole here where the eye goes, that's the orbit, one on either side. And then going behind the prefrontal you have frontal Behind the orbit, you have the post-orbital. And then there are two holes here. You have the supratemporal fenestra and the <coughs> infratemporal fenestra. And behind those holes, you have the quadratojugal, so in between the jugal, and then this bone is the quadrate. Quadrate, quadratojugal, jugal. And then you have the parietal and the squamosal. Okay, that's the dorsal aspect of everything you have to know. And then, okay, this is the ventral side of the alligator skull. Okay, and again, we're starting um, towards the nose, and the first bone is the premaxilla, which holds some of the teeth. And then you have the maxilla which holds some of the teeth. And then you have the palatine bone, and those three bones make form the hard palate. Okay, and then you have the internal nares, which is also called the coanae, okay, which are, and then the bone surrounding those is called the pterygoid. And then outside of the pterygoid would be the ectopterygoid. And then there's a few bones we can see from the other that are on the dorsal side that are also on the ventral side. You have the jugal and the quadratojugal and the quadrate. That's it. Okay, so this is the back side of the alligator skull. We're going to start with the bones that you could also see on the dorsal side. So you have the quadrate, is this big bone here, and then the quadratojugal, you can see piece of it right there. And then on the top of the skull you can see the squamosal and the parietal. Okay, and then now just on the back face of the skull, there are three bones that make up the occipital bone. You have the supraoccipital, the exo-occipital, and then below everything is the basio-occipital. Okay, and then in between the occipital bones, you have the occipital condyle and the foramen magnum, which is where the spinal cord comes out of. Okay, and then below all that, you have three bones that are squished together. The basio-occipital, and then you have the basisphenoid, and then um, a piece of the pterygoid. The pterygoid we could also see from the ventral side. Okay, and then the big wings on the side are also part of the pterygoid. Okay, and then there's one little piece, the rostrum of the basisphenoid, which is right there. Okay, here we have the lower mandible of the alligator skull. Okay, and unlike mammal bones, it or mammal mandibles, it has multiple bones in its mandible. Okay? So the first one, this one's marked, so it's pretty easy to know them, but on an exam we won't use the mark one. Okay, this large one in the front is the dentary. And then you have uh, a large fenestra, which has a hole above and below it, or a bone above and below it. 
the super angular and the angular. And then you can see on the back the articular, where it articulates with the upper mandible. <coughs> and then on the other side of our hole is the coronoid, and below our hole is the angular. And then uh, the rest of the jaw is the splenial. And you can tell this alligator was an uh, Alabama fan because he has one tooth. And that's all. Hi, all the boys. He's a hand model. Out.